What is going on, everybody on YouTube? Steve here with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Come and get coming back to you guys with another live show on the 4th of July. So I want to say hello to every, everybody out there and wish you a happy 4th of July. You know, be sure to spend some time with your family and the people you care with. And really, you know, be grateful for this amazing country that we're living in. There's so many other places out there where, you know, people struggle just to find a place to live, to be able to eat food, you know, to be able to, you know, share times with their family and have time other than work, right? So be grateful for what you have. Be sure to, you know, just be grateful for everyone out, out there who have sacrificed their lives and have, you know, are out there fighting for us, for our freedom and our country. So I just want to thank everybody for you know coming to this live show and hopefully you all have a great 4th of July. So I do want to say right now the chat is open and I will be hopping in from time to time but in this video we're going to be going over 10 patri patriotic items that have sold on eBay and I've got 10 items that have sold for some pretty decent cash. So you can go out there to garage sales, thrift stores, flea markets and various sourcing locations and go find these items and flip them to make money. Now, you can put these items in other locations other than eBay. There's Craigslist, there's Etsy for some of the vintage stuff, and there's Amazon FBA as well. Uh, but usually FBA, when it comes to clothing, items are going to have to be brand new. So most of these items are going to be used. So eBay and Etsy and Craigslist are probably going to be your best outlets. But again, I uh, wanted to do something for the 4th of July and what better time than now to talk about patriotic items which have sold on eBay for a good profit. So let me jump into the comment section right now. What's going on Pittsburgh? Mike, hey man, don't knock the hustle brother. I'm not sure how many people are going to be watching live right now considering it is 4th of July. But again, if you are watching live, thank you so much. Get in the comment section. Be sure to say hello. I am in Austin, Texas at my buddy's house right now. So if somebody does for one reason or another, decide to knock on the door. If somebody comes into the house, the dogs are, the dogs are going to start barking and going like crazy. Uh, in that event, I will move into another room. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time because I have a feeling it's going to happen. But let's dive into the show. I only have about 20 to 25 minutes to hang out with you guys. So let's get started. First patriotic item that sold on eBay is a Ralph Lauren Polo American flag hat. It's got the patch of the American flag and it says Polo USA. This is definitely an older hat. I'd guess probably from the 90s if I had to take a wild guess, but you never know. It could be a little uh, later than that or earlier than that. I'm just not 100% sure, but take a look right here. This is a Ralph Lauren Polo hat with the American flag patch sold for $47 and look it had 43 bids so there was definitely a little bidding war that was occurring over this item and uh, I'm not sure when this sold but I'm sure somebody wanted to rock it out for 4th of July and uh, what better than to be rocking out with a Ralph Lauren Polo hat. Ralph Lauren Polo is a great brand. If you find certain items within this brand you can make a ton of money. There's other items that are going to be a little more plain and mass produced that aren't going to bring in bring in as much money like you know the bland polo shirts or you know the run of the mill button front shirts and whatnot even though they could still bring you in some decent cash there are certain items that could bring you in a lot more money be sure to check out one of my latest uh videos that i did about the best selling items within the ralph lauren polo brand just type that in type in ralph lauren polo rake and profit and you could check that out whole live show covering the ralph lauren brand uh but an excellent item right here Looking at the description, it says men's vintage polo, USA, American flag patch, Olympic stadium strap back hat. Uh, looks like uh, this this seller has a pretty long description. And yeah, it looks like everything's there. $47, not bad at all. The second patriotic item which sold is a, looks like a BMC short sleeved uh, cycling jersey. So I'm not 100% sure if this is the brand BMC or Hincappy. I'm not sure. I'm not huge into the cycling market. Uh, but when it comes to cycling jerseys, certain ones do very, very well, especially if it's themed. Like if you find the, the U.S. Uh, Postal Service themed Cycling jerseys, those can do really well. Specific brands do well. And this, it has the you know American flag kind of feel to it, the red, right, and the red, white, and blue. This sold for 
five dollars which is absolutely phenomenal because i come across these types of items all the time bicycle jerseys obviously these are going to be more rare uh, but this specific item sold for 125 dollars right here let's take a look at some of the pictures swiss cycling technology so it looks like the brand is hein or hen cappy 100 polyester size medium right there and we could obviously do some more research uh, after the show in regards to this brand, which I would recommend you doing because not each brand is going to bring in the same amount of money. You've got to take into consideration the size, the material, the theme, the time of the year, buy it now versus auction, the seller feedback, the description, the keywords, tons of factors to keep in mind. But just know this item sold for $125. The third patriotic item that sold and today is the 4th of July, so if you're watching this at a later date, today, the day I'm recording this is 4th of July. This is a Build-A-Bear patriotic outfit slash costume. And uh, this is a, uh, a clothing item that you'd put on a Build-A-Bear, those little bears. You build them up at the stores, and then you can dress them up and everything. This is an outfit, and it's sold for $60. Now, I don't know if this is custom-made or what the deal is, but it's a three-piece set. You know, you've got the top part. You've got the bottom, the shorts, and then you've got the American flag, uh, American themed hat, which is pretty cool right there. So not sure where you'd come across this type of items. And I'd, I'd want to actually do some more research when it comes to Build-A-Bear Apparel, which is maybe an interesting show in itself. But this sold for $60. Really, really cool right there. I love to hear in the comment section, have you guys or gals ever sold Anything to do with Build-A-Bear. Not the actual bear, but the apparel, the clothing, a hat, any accessories. I'm very interested to hear what you have to say about that. I've never, but still. Pretty cool right there. Uh, Pittsburgh Mike says, yeah, I'm listing right now. I'm hustling too. Get a life, Mike. <laughs> That's awesome, man. What up? Love hearing what you are selling. These are actually items that I'm not selling. These are items that I'm looking up and researching that other people have sold. What's funny about the patriotic stuff is that it'll all have this American pride stuff on it, but it's made in China. Isn't that a coincidence? Hey, Steve, still uh, still foreign from France. Love your vlogs of the last few days. Glad you enjoyed. I've got another vlog that should be coming tomorrow as well. I'll be vlogging for about 10 days straight, so thank you for that compliment. I appreciate it. Anyways, let's keep moving on to the next item. Next item is a Tommy Hill figure, long sleeve. It looks like, I can't tell if it's a polo shirt or a button front. Yeah, it's a button front shirt right here. And it's got the American colors, the American flag colors, the red, white, and blue. You've got the stars going uh, up and down the sleeves and on the upper chest area. This is cool. This is unique. This is odd. This is different. This is the type of item you want to find in brands like Ralph Lauren Polo, Nike, if they've got anything like that. Um, Tommy Hill figure, Ralph Lauren Polo. This is the type of stuff you want to be on a look lookout for, the obscure, the unique types of clothing items. These things do very, very well. If you can find a reputable reputable brand like Tommy Hilfiger or Ralph Lauren and find something unique and just weird that's kind of out of the blue, that's the type of stuff you want to focus on and at least take a minute to research it up. So if I was at a thrift store and I came across this item, simply what I would do is I would type in Tommy Hilfiger, button front shirt. American flag or uh, you know patriotic or something like that and, and check the sold listings to see what similar items have sold for but I would have bought this right off the bat because I already know something weird like this when it comes to Tommy Hilfiger uh, will definitely bring in good money so that sold for $65 which is incredible and I guarantee right now in America there's a thrift store probably with this shirt sitting in there right now and it's gonna get scooped up go get it next item that sold on eBay is another patriotic uh, patriotic item got the american flags on the back the brand is tommy bahama and if you guys watched my video that i made yesterday about the best men's clothing that sells on ebay i was actually covering the brand tommy bahama and one thing i said was when it comes to tommy bahama you want to focus on the hundred percent silk hawaiian camp shirts that have an embroidery or a crazy design on it. And this is one example right here. This has an American flag embroidered on the back with the uh, phrase, one nation under the sun. So this is one of these types of items that, you know, you come across it, it's like bada bing, bada boom. Profits are coming soon. Jackpot City all day long when it comes to Tommy Bahama embroideries. Look it up, 
go into the search engine, type in Tommy Bahama Embroidered or Embroideries, and uh, you'll see firsthand what I am talking about right here. This sold for 85 buckaroos. That's one of those items that I'm telling you right now, it'll make you some money. Next on deck when it comes to American Apparel on 4th of July, which is today, is a pair of American flag shorts, and the brand is Chubbies. I've never come across this brand before. I'm going to show you guys the tag. Uh, Pittsburgh Mike, if you're still in the house, let me know if you've ever come across this brand. Let's see if the tag is evident. Uh, it's not showing the tag, but this is a phenomenal brand to be on the lookout for when it comes to making money on eBay, pretty much with you know, patriotic stuff or non-patriotic stuff. Chubbies, great brand. Look it up. I'm not going to dive into all the specifics when it comes to this brand, but just know that Chubby's is a great brand. And when it's themed with something like the American flag, I mean, it's, it's a jackpot all day long. This sold for $57. And I knew right off the bat when I saw this, that there had to be a really strong demand for it. And take a look, 24 bids. There was a bidding war going down on this and, and take a look at the guy's feedback. 88.2%. So people, you know, that's not the best feedback when it comes to eBay, but people didn't care. You know, maybe it would have went for more if, if the person had better feedback, but still went for $57 plus $3 shipping. Description states for auction is a pair of chubbies, America shorts, size medium. These babies are in great condition, have only been worn a few times. They will be shipped in a padded bubble mailer to ensure their protection. If you have any additions, please feel free to message me. Make sure to check out my other auctions and happy bidding. So I like the listing, you know, a simple, smooth description. I would have liked maybe some measurements that might've been helpful. You know, these types of items do shrink in the laundry at times. So uh, that's one thing I definitely would have added, but uh, you know, decent listing, not the greatest in the world, but uh, 57 bucks, not bad at all. Next item that sold is an item I'm not 100% sure of in terms of the brand. Let's take a look at the picture. The brand is... International Mail. So I've actually never heard of this brand, I don't think. And, uh, you know, the brand is International Mail. The title reads Vintage Cutoff Jeans Shorts Patriotic USA Flag Size 34 Waist Worn. So I don't know why they've got that. Uh, maybe used would have been a better term. But, anyways, uh, pre owned and, and worn vintage with distress. Please see full description and photographs. This sold for $49.99, which is pretty cool. $49.99. And uh, what I like about this is it has the USA patch on the side, which is pretty cool. It's kind of diagonally across the back of the shorts, it appears, or the front of the shorts. And then on the back of the shorts, you've got the American flag theme to it. So definitely cool. I like the distressed look, the little shredded uh, hems of the shorts. Pretty cool right there. International Mail. So again, not 100% sure of this brand. I have a feeling that most items in this brand don't sell for much. I may be wrong. Feel free to do your research after the show. But $49.99 for a pair of shorts. I mean, what's stopping you from walking into a thrift store and picking this up for three bucks and selling it for 50? Nothing. The key is you've got to go take action. You've got to take action. So that's definitely huge. Let me jump into the comments section and see what's going on. We've got 25 people watching live right now. So be sure to smash that like button, guys. Smash that like button if you enjoy this video. Smash that like button if you're having a great 4th of July and you're enjoying this content. I'm here to help you guys out as much as possible. And, you know, I really enjoy making this content, not only to grow my channel, to add value to you guys, but it helps me to learn as well and stay sharp. So when I'm out at thrift stores and garage sales, I can recognize this stuff and make money. So I always make jokes to people. Um, to my buddies and subscribers I meet and, and I say, you know, I love making these videos because it's like killing nine birds with one stone. There's so many benefits for you guys, but there's also so many benefits for me making these videos. It's ridiculous. So, um, you know, smash that like button. I really appreciate it. 27 people watching live right now on the 4th of July. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming live. And let's move on to the next item that sold. Next up is a pair of Durango Western boots. So it says lady it says lady right there. Okay, so these are women's shoes. I thought I was under the men's category. But anyways, these are some women's uh, Western boots. And this is definitely appropriate to wear if you're in Austin, Texas. I'm in Austin, Texas right now meeting with uh, my team um, for the green room. And we'll talk about the green room after. We have a special promotion and everything, which we'll chit-chat about after the show at the end. But I'm here uh, taking care of business in Austin, Texas, meeting up with the green room staff, the green room team. Uh, we also have a green room event with about 
a little less than a hundred people coming into town uh, and we're having a whole dinner party thrifting together for three four days so that's a lot of fun but anyways here's a pair of durango western patriotic boots these things are phenomenal check out these things the quality you can just tell based on the stitch work it just looks like a very nice firm pair of strong just well-made boots they really do. I love the the colors, the design, and this sold for $76. Condition reads, pre-owned condition, mild signs of wear across toe and back of heel. See photos for details. So definitely a nice pair of, item, uh, nice pair of boots right here, size 10, and definitely patriotic. Next up are a pair of Birkenstocks. Birkenstock is a great brand when it comes to you know footwear, sandals, stuff like that. Be sure after the show to look up this brand, guys. This brand can bring you in some great, bring you in some great money. I buy I buy a lot of these from garage sales. I notice a lot of women they wear them, and you know how some women are. They you know they wear them a couple times and they want a new pair. Nothing wrong with it, but uh, I find these often at garage sales. I also find them pretty pretty often at uh, thrift stores. I see them there all the time. Just make sure they're not too worn out. Be sure to inspect them. But uh, $46.80 right here. Of course, patriotic. It's got that red, white, and blue um, flag design to it. So definitely an awesome item right here. And uh, let's see what this has to say. Two straps with adjustable buckles across the foot. Water-friendly, uh, retire, retired design. So it looks like these things aren't being made anymore, which again is going to increase the uh, profitability of it just based on supply and demand. So 4680 Birkenstock, excellent brand right there. And the last patriotic item that I want to cover with you guys in this live show, 4th of July, 4th of July live show is a pair of vintage, well that's what it's stating in the title, vintage Converse shoes. These are women's shoes, but I tell you right now, if you come across the brand Converse in shoes and there's flags on them. It's got that American flag theme, the American fle uh, theme stars and stuff. Be sure to look it up. There's a lot of Converse out there that are rare and hard to come across. And there's a lot of collectors, a lot of shoe heads out there who will pay very good money for Converse shoes with specific themes and just different types of shoes and whatnot. So be on the lookout for Converse. This sold for $64.99. Actually, I think it was a best offer, but somewhere I'd say somewhere between $40 and $60. I'm not sure what the best offer was accepted for. Uh, plus 13 shipping. So pretty cool right here. This is size five, five or three, si men's size three or women's size five. Great condition as shown in the photos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, live show talking about some of the best patriotic items that are selling on eBay. Hopefully you guys are having a great 4th of July and are enjoying your day. So I want to mention real quick right now, guys, because uh, I mentioned it before, uh, the Green Room, we are running a sale right now on the Green Room membership. So if you're interested, be sure to head over to greenroomuniversity.com slash sale. We've got a 25% sale, save 50 bucks. We're going crazy. We're YouTube in it, doing webinars. We're promoting it as much as possible uh, because we only do this about once or twice a year. So uh, be sure to check that out if you are interested in jumping on the train, not the Trump train, but the green room train. Be sure to check that out. But uh, yeah, guys, it was fun hanging out with you guys. want to shout some people out. We got the name family in the house, Jason33784. Good to see you. We got Pittsburgh Mike out there. What's up, Craigslist Hunter in the house? Happy 4th of July, Steve. Hey, Pete, happy 4th of July to you as well. Hopefully you have a great day and uh, enjoy time with your family. What's up, Jacob Boss? Rain Spooner, a good selling brand. Yes, uh, it's not Rain. It's uh, Ryan. Ryan, what the heck is it? I'm so confused right now. Um, but that's a brand that I've uh, – is it Rain or Ryan? Rain Spooner. Sometimes I lose my brain a little bit, guys, when it comes to pronunciations. But yes, that is an excellent brand right there. Look it up. Uh, the Patriotic shirt I sold. Scott Martin saying the Patriotic shirt I sold this year was a uh, Ryan Spooner flag shirt. Yeah, so that that definitely could bring in some good money. Let's look that up real quick. Let's just see what it's going for. If that pulls up anything, here's one for sale for forty nine ninety nine. Let's go to sold. So as you can see, these aren't a lot of these are you know a lot of these aren't patriotic in a sense, but uh, 49, 21, 41, definitely a great brand right there. So yeah, I just want to come to you guys with a live show and just hang out with you for a little bit. 
and uh, have some fun. Hopefully, you guys are having a great 4th of July. Be sure to smash that like button, guys. Show some love. we got 30 people watching live, but only 13 likes. Hit the like button. Show some love, guys. I'm here to help you out as much as possible, and it's my goal in 2016 to provide you guys with as much value as possible, as much content. So feel free to leave some more ideas for videos you'd like me to research and ideas and topics that I can help you with. If you guys don't know much about me, I quit my job about three years ago. I was delivering pizzas. I was working at the Cracker Barrel, and now I make a full-time living online selling on Craigslist, eBay, Amazon. I do Kindle publishing. I run a membership site. I make YouTube videos. I do a lot of things. I have some products and courses, so I'm definitely diversified when it comes to making money online, but I love reselling, and I love making content about it, and I'm here to help you guys out as much as possible. John Hardesty, what's going on, man? Appreciate those hats representing that green room. Jack L says, I'm new to Amazon FBA and raking profits, one of the top three subject matter experts. Appreciate that, Jack. Yeah, if you guys ever have any questions about Amazon FBA, feel free to uh, ask away. If I don't know the answer, I'll definitely find the answer for you. Uh, speaking of Amazon FBA, we created a um, course in the green room that walks you through the entire process of getting started with Amazon FBA from you know setting up your account to shipping out your first item dealing with the dashboard the back end you know from A to Z so if you guys are wondering about the green room I've been getting a lot of questions recently asking you know Steve is green room mostly Craigslist or eBay or Amazon or can I learn the process of getting started with it uh, absolutely so be sure guys go over to greenroomuniversity.com forward slash sale right here greenroomuniversity.com forward slash sale Type that in, and we've got a special promotion going down right now. 150 bucks for the year. Typically, it's $200. Our membership is growing. We're up to about 600 members now. We just passed 600 members, so super pumped out. Up pumped up about that. Um, and yeah, we're here to help you guys out. So if you want to learn more about what to buy and sell, how to start an eBay business, Amazon FBA, Craigslist, antique booths, sourcing from thrift stores, garage sales. Check us out, Green Room University. But with that being said, you guys have an amazing day. Have a great 4th of July. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel daily for more vlogs and more tutorial videos. I got a lot of content coming. July 9th is the Green Room Meetup. So we've got about 100 people coming into town. And we're going to shoot some amazing videos for you guys. And uh, you know, if you can't come this year, don't worry about it. Come next year. We're going to have another event. But we'd love to meet you. We'd love to have you in the Green Room. And we're here to help as much as possible. So with that being said, guys, have a fantastic day. Keep on picking and making that money. Have a great 4th of July. And go buy some patriotic items to sell. And have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.